All right, Grant and I got our Starbucks and we are headed home for the first time in a week, I feel like. Maybe even a little bit over a week. Um, and so I feel like dad's really missed me on the farm and really wants me to come back and start prepping for harvest and honestly just get, get like caught up on what's going on. So finally a farm day. What are you doing? <laughs> I just like the scenery that's going by. I, like it. I think it looks nice. <laughs> anything look different you guys oh my goodness there is no corn this was a seed field and it got harvested I was not here to witness it this is one of the many like driveway shots I've done you know like when it's sunshiny outside or sunrise the field is gone which is so crazy oh my goodness it's weird to see the sky is so much more open now boss lady um, aka my mom was totally on the ball and she recorded this quick little clip of this seed field being harvested the other day. And I love this part of the shot. Look at it. Boom. There's two of them. I think there's three of them actually going at one time at this point. So thanks for the video, Mom. I appreciate it. All right, so we got a cattle shoot hauled here. Um, here's one of the pastures that we have. And we're going to be moving cows today. So I get to give you guys a little bit closer look at the cows. Um, I get to get to show you mine and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I'll be helping moving cattle today, I believe. And then doing some paperwork with dad. Classic. A lot of this stuff I can't do on my own, so I rely on him pretty helpful, heavily, to give me advice. And I think we're gonna be looking at selling corn today, at least some of ours. Um, and cow stuff. Fun day. And hopefully he doesn't make me pick up pipe. But I don't know, maybe that might happen. <laughs> All right, little cover crop update. So this is the seed field that was harvested. And check this out. So here's our turnips and radishes. You can still get, they're like frosted with dew. Oh, they're so pretty. Um, but yeah, they look like they're doing great. You can see a little bit more that they're actually growing now. Actually have some turnips and radishes under there. But uh, yeah, this would be great cover crop. It's time to get a pickup. Um, I mean, it was probably time to get a pickup a long time ago, but I'm definitely in the market. So if you guys know of any good deals. Oh man, back in the saddle, grabbing a radio. There we go. Yeah, let's get this party started. <gasps> what do we have here? Combine? And a gearing off head. This was dad's new purchase. <gasps> Look at this beast of a machine. That is awesome. More to come on this. Okay. All right, so I'm with dad in his truck and we're pulling the cattle trailer right now. And we are on our way to another one of the ranches to pick up some cows and take them back home. Just move them to another pasture. I'm assuming that pasture is getting fed down. Yes, they're time for a move. Yeah, we had on our rented grass, we had to move them. We put them on the south. We don't want to graze the south too hard because we want to burn that next year. Yes, exactly. For a, for a prescribed burn to control our eastern red cedar, woody species. So we want to keep the grass taller so we can have a good rolling fire all the way across to control uh, weeds. Fantastic for proper range land management. Yes, absolutely. So we're moving cows today, so you get to see a little bit more up close about what they look like and how cute they are. <laughs> All right, Papa Kurt's got the big truck and trailer. He's gonna line up here. Then we'll put the cows in the catch bin here, the big fenced in area, and load them onto the trailer. Dad's got a four wheeler, and I'll be riding with him to help round cows up. Take a tour of the ranch, you know. Here's the catch pen. They've got water over there that they can drink. Back the trailer up, and there's the chute. Beautiful morning.
So fun fact, we actually have a windmill that still works. So it pumps water for the cows here. See? Check that out. I think that's pretty cool. Also fun fact, you remember when I wakeboarded through the ditch? This is totally the rope I used and we're gonna use it for our cattle rope over there. Farmer things. I see people being. All right, so I was dropped off by dad with the radio. I'm walking up this hill that's pretty steep. Anyways, we've got one pair left. So a mom and a baby um, that's kind of, we're off on their own. And they went, I think, into these trees. So I'm on foot, dad's blocking off one path, and I'm just gonna try and get them out of the trees and we're gonna push them up towards the catch pit. So all along the pasture, you can see these little trails where they've walked. Um, and it's, and a lot of times they're easy to find. This one's a little bit trickier, but they just walk these little paths and they mow down the grass. So you can kind of follow their trails, which is pretty cool. Makes dirt bike riding a little bit harder, but it's fun when you're tracking cows. I found him, the cow. I'm just kidding, that's dead. See this little cow trail right there? It goes all the way up the hill and around. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so these totally aren't our cows, but look at that sweet little baby. Look at that. Oh, they're cute. Yeah, we'll leave you alone, moms. Don't worry. Oh, they're sweet looking. All right, let's find our cows. <laughs> I like the, I like these ones, though. All right, so we have all the cows and calves up here. Now we're just going to try and sort off so we only take a certain amount at a time to put in there. So Dad's sorting off just the cows right now. So cute. All right, we sorted off 25 calves here. Hey, Mama. Hey. And three or four of our bulls. And we're gonna push them in to shoot. Oh, come to say hi. Hey, cuties. Hey. They're confused about why they're separated. Why are they over there? Hey, sweeties. Say hi to YouTube. <laughs> All right, let's go. The first 15 or so are on the trailer. Now we're just moving gates around inside. We can take these babies to their new pasture. So up here by the water, hey, be nice. Uh, we have little salt and mineral licks for them um, to get some essential vitamins and nutrients. That's one that they lick down pretty good. Time for the little cavy wabbies to be sorted out. We're putting them in this trailer here. All right, here's all the cute calves sorted off. Come on, babes. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Through the gate. There we go. Ew. This place is nasty. Could you clean it before harvest? Maybe. Yes, maybe. We'll see about that. and the rest of this trailer. Putting them in this new one. They're gonna be so happy. More grass to eat. Here we go. Hey! notice they all have different colored ear tags so there's green ones yellow ones and white ones um, that's just to differentiate 
uh, well, the numbers on them are to differentiate which ones they are. So that's kind of like their names, so like 28, 98 there. Green tags are for my dad's cows. The yellow tags are for grandpa's cows. And then the white tags are mine. And that red face, you see that one right there? That one's mine. Hey, sweetie. But yeah, that's why they have ear tags on. Well, ear piercings. Then they are also branded with that double C just to uh, avoid any mistaking between ours and neighbor cows. <laughs> the calves are literally all looking away from me right now, but they have ear tags as well. And they have ear tags that match the number with their moms so that we can pair them up. Um, but they are not branded because we will sell them to somebody else and they'll remove that ear tag and switch them on to their own number system. Um, but the same color system applies here. All right, so we got one last load and we're gonna take him to the new pasture and then done for today. It's the tire challenge. All right, the, oh, knock it off. Hey, knock it off. Cows and calves are all back together and now we're going to count them and let them out into the big pasture. All right, all the cows and the calves are paired up. Dad and I get to drive this back to the farm and then Good. I'm gonna sign off for today. Do you think I can get out of here? Can I get out of that drive? I think you can. Did you see the turnips and radishes? I did and I showed them. They're looking great. Did you take a bite of some? Not yet. They're not ripe yet. Oh no, you got it raw no, right there. You got wait. it. Wait until they're ripe. You gotta hammer that. Oh, yeah, can you do this. it one handed though? Uh, there we go. Nice. Bye. Love you. Love you too. Okay, done for today at the farm. Now on to Grant's project. You guys know the drill. Well, the people at the post office finally asked. I just said, this package was really heavy. And then two letters, just, I got those. Um, and they were like, okay, enough is enough. What are you doing to get all these packages? Like, do you just have a crazy buying habit? Like, are you ordering things off Amazon? And so I gave him a quick little rundown that I just have the nicest fans ever. And so I have two new YouTube fans. So to the people at the post office in Aurora, thanks you guys. Thanks for handling all my, I was gonna say my orders, all of my gifts from my wonderful fans. I appreciate it. <laughs> So actually the last time I came to the post office, I think this was last week, um, I had like eight packages I want to say, nine packages. Um, I posted something on my Insta story. Anyways, I took them back to Lincoln and I had kind of like, I didn't really film it because I was in a friend's basement and we were all just like hanging. I had a whole bunch of friends over and we did like a little, <laughs> it felt like Christmas, but I was the only one that was opening gifts. And I mean, their, their minds are just blown. No one understands it. They just can't believe the things that you guys send me. Um, and so one of my friends filmed a little clip. Uh, and so I'll insert that in here, but I got a lot of really cool stuff. <laughs> you, got, you guys are awesome. That's what I'm trying to say. The coldest water? What'd you get, Grant? Oh, it's oh, it's water. Water. Cute. Cute. Couple cups. Yeah, Aww. this is Laura Wilson. Ooh. Oh. Grant, <laughs> so show sweet. yours. Oh, it actually has a name, Grant. Yeah. yeah. Great. This guy, Ooh, like, actually wrapped them. I'm just pretty impressed on that. This bottle should last forever. Oh, like you and Grant. Oh, That's pretty cute. I'll go. give him that. That's That's a, is it a brick? No, oh it's my goodness. a so case awesome. of monster. <laughs> um, <laughs> Like an actual legit case of monsters. Heck yeah. This nice. is the good kind. No wonder it's so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, PO box stop. There we go. There we go. Okay, this is from uh, Nick, the guy I did the podcast with. Thanks again for sitting down with me for an interview. I respect your passion and drive. Keep grinding. Nice. Thanks, Nick. Appreciate it. This one is from T Bork in Alabama. Grant, you're one lucky fellow. You just found my channel. Likes it very much. Nice. Runs a trophy and gift center. Very cool. Package, about yay sized. 
and it is from Iowa City from a Greg Johnson and it is taped to high heaven. It's great. Okay, there's a letter What's on the wrapping. Yeah, there's a letter on top. I'm gonna hold the box up, show them what it Oh boy. What on earth? They're like this. I seriously cannot even get this. Who's gonna win? Ah! Wow. What is that? Maple syrup. Maple like syrup. Legit maple syrup. I'm surprised. Laura loves waffles. I do really like waffles. I didn't know you could get maple syrup in Iowa. Props to deliver packages. Oh, this is barbecue sauce. Oh, heck yeah. Oh yeah, and we're working on something. Grant's excited. <laughs> um, okay, so this one doesn't have any head on it. But this is Grant's combine. He has a John Deere one. Um, we have a case one, red, uh, which is different than all the other equipment on our farm. But he wanted to give me a quick run through. He's pretty excited for me to try and operate this machine. See what I think is better, case or John Deere. Look at this, look at this beast. And then there's a corn head there, bean head there. Green cart, as I call it, or what do you call it, Grant? Auger wagon. He calls it an auger wagon. I don't know. We always call it. I don't know what that is. It's a grain cart. Um, I'll auger. teach you guys right. It's got an auger on it, and you pull it. Okay. Auger wagon. Yeah. Well, he's made that argument many times before. Cart. What? Whatever. Pretty excited. What's your favorite feature of this combine? Uh, well, it has a fridge. That's pretty cool. All right, I'm sold. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Oh, hey, also, by the way, give me a little spin around. What do you have here? What is this? Uh, ooh, come, come this way. Okay, sounds good. Oh, a familiar face. All right, Grant, run me through the uh, the issues the old truck is having. <laughs> well, I parked it in working order when I left for college. Naturally. And a dad probably couldn't get started he just pushed it out away. <laughs> so uh last i knew it was pumping gas out the vent tube just straight in the intake so if anyone knows what's going on i've tried hitting it tried tapping it i just haven't opened it up yet ready wait let's check it out oh wow nice okay wait all this to say i have merchandise oh, yes. now so <laughs> this isn't there's a whole bunch of other stuff. This is just the one Grant is wearing and he's working in today. Are you selling today. these ones yet? Or are you just selling the regular ones? Oh, I'm selling these. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'm selling these and like a whole bunch of you others. I have hats too. This is not. Oh, yeah. I have hats and like they're stickers. Just, just style a hat. They just have Sweatshirts. Little, little I don't know. All sorts of cool stuff. And I don't want to say this, but I don't know how else to say it. I really don't want to say like link in the description. What's a better way to say that? You can find them below. This video, that sounds even worse. All right, anyways, <laughs> there's merchandise. Cute, I love the pocket, it's so nice. Anyways, yeah, if anyone knows what's wrong with the old Ford, we would appreciate the help. All right, you guys, headphone users, be ready to like take them out, turn it down, it's, it's gonna be loud. You're good, go ahead. All right, watching. Advice appreciated. Yeah. I think it'd be so much fun. Cruise those streets. Yeah, cruise the streets. I think it'd be so cool. Um, anything else to add? Um, uh, thanks for all the support, guys. Really appreciate it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't know. Grant and I have a lot of really cool things planned for the very near future, and that doesn't even include our wedding. Yeah. But that is also coming up. So. <laughs> thanks, you guys.